this out. Hey guys, what is up? Lone Wolf RM here from the website Digilapse, and today I'm going to bring you some Halo Reach gameplay. Uh, this is SWAT on Boardwalk. Um, this is a map that was. Uh, this is a game, rather. It's a map. <laughs> it's a game that was archived. Um, it's not one that I've done. Well, it was fairly recently, but it's probably about a week or two old. So, yeah. Um, the thing I really wanted to talk to everyone about today was my inspiration into doing these commentaries. Um, I know I said in my last video that a Halo Reach commentary would mean Halo 4 content. Well, it would involve Halo 4. Like, me talking about Halo 4. Um, and I want to do that towards the end. Of the well, towards the end of the video. Maybe, like, get everyone to... Something we're looking forward to. We all know that the DMR and the BR are all going to be in the same game, so maybe which one's your favourite, which one you're more likely to use. Um, some of the game modes you're looking for, like um, if they did introduce a. Ah, here's something for everyone to think about and comment about. If they introduced SWAT, do you reckon they'd incorporate the BR and the DMR, or do you reckon it'd just be one or the other? So that's something to think about. Right, anyway, my inspiration. So yeah, um, the thing that really got me into doing commentary was two YouTubers. One's BBK Dragoon. Uh, I watched a lot of his, well, in fact I've seen pretty much all of his Halo commentaries on Halo 3 and Reach. And um, it just really got me thinking, hmm, I, I want to be able to do that. I want to get involved in that. You know? And uh, the Gears of War ones was um, M Vito, uh, the Don of Halo, which is weird, you know. It got me into Gears of War, even though it's the Don of Halo. And I've watched all his Halo ones as well. So um, I've actually been speaking to M Vito recently about Gears of War Judgment, uh, just like if he's heard anything about it and whatever. But then I watched their uh, packs, and pretty much everything he told me was on there anyway. So you know that worked out pretty well. I cannot believe I missed this. I, oh my god, I must have been having a bad day. So yeah, they were my inspirations into doing this. Uh, with Gears of War, it was also um, Chaos Like Butter and MLG Fallout. Um, by the way, Fallout, if you do see this video, we need that uh, Nasha tutorial up. Uh, we've been expecting it for months now. So, come on. Come on, kid. And uh, Chaos Like Butter does some amazing Gears of War videos. Um, he's got some great montages up. Um, I think it was, I think it's Chaos Richie. Uh, he's done one of his montages that looks really good. So um, I'm not going to leave a link to his channel because I haven't actually seen it. I've seen the montage on like Butter's channel, and it looks sick. If you do get the chance, go and check it out. It's number four, number four montage number four that I've seen. It, it's it looks amazing. The way he's done it, it's just perfect. So yeah. <coughs> um, the other thing is, this may be either my last or maybe second last Double kill. Um, video. Because the I'm giving the capture card back to Mark for um, the release day of Borderlands 2 in the UK. I don't know if it comes out earlier in uh, the States. I'm not too sure. Um, I love this move. Kind of wakes. I know he's coming up. So yeah. Um, he's going to record some Borderlands 2 and put it up on the site for everyone to look at. Um, so on after the, well, he'll probably go up on about the 21st of September. So yeah, uh, going to the right here because I know there was two there so I didn't get cleaned up. There you go. <coughs> so yeah, he's going to do Borderlands 2. I don't know if it's going to be a commentary or if it might just be... Um, Oh man. Choke. 
Um, it might be a commentary, it might just be the gameplay. Um, I will more than likely be involved in that. Uh, you might not be able to hear me. A, fact, a lot of people might not want to hear me. But yeah, um, subscribe to the channel and you'll be able to see it as soon as it comes out. To, to be honest, it sounds like it's going to be really good because we've all heard about Borderlands 2. And, um, you know, there's more guns in here, there's new characters. Um, knowing Mark, he's definitely going to be playing as Zero, which, you know, is the kind of is the character I want to play as, so if we're both playing together, you'll be seeing two zeros. But, um, if I do feel more generous, then I might, like, flick to a different character so you can get a view of two characters. Um, but with it, you'll be able to see the start, the cinematic, well, the cinematic at the start, which on board, Borderlands 1, the, the start cinematic was absolutely amazing, which, you know, we all knew. Um... Yeah, I'm running out of things to say. It's my second commentary and I'm running out of things to say. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I'll try and convince Mark to do it as a commentary. Because it'll be more interesting to do it that way. Um, it, we may do it as a split screen. So I might go around to uh, his house and do it as a split screen. Because um, that way if we're playing as two different characters, you can see both the skill trees, uh, new perks, such and so on and so on. So yeah. Um ah, some of them might interest some people. Me and Mark have, well, mainly me, because it's my idea, have started a new game battles clan on Giz War called Indigo. We currently have uh, me, Mark, Kyle. We currently have four people in the team, so we've got enough to start the game battle. So um, if I get the capture card back off Mark, or I might even be able to do it through Mark, we'll get to record a couple so you can see like the beginnings of Indigo because we haven't even had um, a training match yet. In fact, we haven't even all played together yet. Uh, me, Mark, and Martin have played together, but uh, we haven't played with Kyle yet. So uh, Kyle needs to get his arse in gear and get on the game because we do need to work out our team strats. Um, so yeah, we'll put up the training sessions we have against Bot um, to work on our strats and stuff. Uh, we'll try and get a listen in so you can hear. Um, when we're pushing, uh, if we're holding, when to when we're getting told to fall back, if we're outnumbered, blah blah blah. blah. Um, we're also going to record our first game battle match, so you can see how well we do. Uh, we're more than likely going to get battered because, like I said, we we haven't remaining. all been playing together for very long. In fact, we haven't all played together, as I've already said. Um. So yeah. By the way, if I sound kind of tired or I keep running out of things to say, it's because it's 22 in the morning over here. I'm, I've been in work, I've also been blasting out on gears, trying to get um, my skills down for the <coughs> for the game battles. Um, one little move that I want to talk about here is as I went down the stairs, because I knew he had the headshot on me if I was going to come back in the same place. If you move over and then pop back up, you know, they kind of like poo themselves and think, oh no, he wasn't there, and then you have your hand, so you can easily pick the shot off there. Uh, I have a hole in my shoe, which I've just realised. Um, as a lot of you probably know, if you've seen my videos, or if you know me, or if you've like spoken to me on Xbox Live or anything like that, you know I'm a very random person. So you know I'll talk about stuff as they happen. Because you get all these people that do scripted commentaries, and mine, mine. I suppose they're kind of scripted because I know what I want to talk about, but I don't actually have a script, so I go off what I think at the time I record the video. And oh, that's a sweet double there. Um, so yeah, this game is pretty much about to wrap up. You're about to see me get the 49th kill with a little jumpy headshot going downstairs. Boom, there it is. And my teammate wraps up the 50. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I'll try and get another video out to you soon. Peace, guys.